Oh, blue means stop getting triggered. You better stop. But it's like red, it's like go in. Yeah, attack. So. It's, I mean, it's just, I've seen like Nairo do it as well. That's why the color change is such a real thing. Right, so DSS is just opting to go ahead and throw all these aerials and deal with the Pikmin, but right away. Once you do it for too long, it gives an opening straight to Solomon. Oh, that down smash almost taking the stock. Oh my gosh, the read with that purple forward smash and DSS looking like his character needs at least a couple band-aids. I mean, he definitely doesn't need a band-aid whatsoever. Is Solomon whistle? whistling right through it, but still getting hit in the last version there. Up air. Solomar just keeping up what he was doing right with a lot of these aerials. Uh, not throwing out the use of Nair yet, so he might be keeping that in the back pocket just in case for later. But he does have two purples on deck. He did have two purples, purples on deck. deck. <laughs> DSS is having such trouble trying to get a read and any type of hit in general. He's getting a lot of these dash attacks, but not anything else out of it. Uh, like, Solomar's is moving phenomenally to not really give DSS too much. Yeah, I was actually really impressed that uh, DSS didn't capitalize on that air dodge that Solomar gave. Actually a very important air dodge too, because it makes it that in the future DSS is going to try to bait that out more often, and it's going to give Solomar a few more free escapes. But that's one thing a Solomar doesn't do too often, is just an air dodge in general. I mean, as I say that, but in that situation you kind of have to. Yeah, in that situation there's a wall of sword in your face, you kind of got to make it back to the stage. Oh, no punish on the tornado! DSS just holding up that jab. You know, putting up some good percent, but not too much. Solomar now at the magical percent. See how he's going to take advantage of it already. Throwing out some more Pikmin. Gets hit by a dash attack. It was a short-lived percent run, Miho, but... It's okay. He got like 7%. It's enough. He's still alive, though. Right now, DSS has still just being... Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Dare? Flying. I thought Solomar was going to be very oh. aggressive and just try to go for a dare in that situation. But, you know, DSS only, was only hit 7%. It was only know, 7%. No need to go get, get risky. And I don't even know if uh, Monique was the next one in the lineup. So we don't even know if that would have done anything to Meta Knight. Unfortunately, only the first hit of that shot is going to be there. Down air. Really nice use catching Solomar off stage. Oh, nice little techno. There was a bit of a delay there, but Solomar is aware of it. Oh, looking for that air dodge again. You saw that he... Down through with uh, yellow. It's normally into the raw or purple, but that time he waited. I do like this from DSS being very aggressive. Oh, but getting hit by both of the Pikmin. A yep. lot of percent being racked on. Purple on deck. Coming up with area. No, just don't. Nice smash the eye by Solomar, making it out of that up air string. Yeah, recognizing it was at such low percent, you know, it's harder to go ahead and do it down. Mess up what DSS is try really trying to go for ultimately, but he still has to be careful. You know what little thing I like that DSS has been... Never mind. Okay. He's he did it anyway! It doesn't even matter. He didn't even care. He literally didn't even care. He's like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go for it because he's not going to kill me if I whiff. Let's just go for it. I mean, I don't know if DSS recognized the jump or if he really just said YOLO. I don't know. Nonetheless, that stock is gone. DSS taking a game. I mean, it works, right? Like, who, no, we weren't expecting it. Solar anyone, anyone expecting they're it. just going to be like, yo, calculated. Yeah. And now he's going to cloud. cloud. So how does Solomar usually do against Stark? So Stark... Is Stark the one that beats Solomar? Uh, he has... In, in the little sack trifecta? He has... It's really everybody beats everyone in Sack, okay. unless you're Tab and then you beat everybody. But uh, Stark has, I think, the slight edge on Solomar lately, but it's it's not as dominant as it used to be. Okay, okay. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting one. Like, now Solomar is going to have to worry about this big disjointed hitbox going through all the Pikmin into him. And like Diza showed in his last set, his out is no slouch. Beating Kronos in the Ditto, but hey, this is a completely different thing. It's not a Ditto. You are so, fighting an Olimar. Okay, you can already see it right now by the way Solomar is reacting. Stark used to love doing the falling down air approach. And all Olimar has to do is pivot grab that sucker because you can just grab right right through Cloud's side. Yup, no, already. TSS recognizing that. Now going for a lot of these nares, but nah, <laughs> already I, going for the down I, I, air. I, I think he's still going for it. I don't think he's learned the lesson yet because they, they still occasionally work. So, I mean, why not throw it out? Hey, you gotta go with the old classic. Cross slash? No, I think DSS is one of the clouds. Really just hold on to it. Never mind. Cross slash taking the stock. 
I mean, that's the thing, right? He held on to it until it was a guaranteed thing, and that's that's what I like to see Klaus do, honestly, is just wait until you know it's going to work. Oh, man, so you, you, don't, you don't like the Mewtwo King? Just yeah. throw it out right when you get it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm a Ned. I am. A, I'm a Ned fan. He is by Ned? far my favorite. Cloud. Okay, honestly, when I when I started watching a couple of the Midwest Mayhem soccer's, and I'm like, Yo, Ned is clean. He's like, so why smart. is he handling Zenodo? Oh my god! The le <laughs> extended from the Pikmin has him back off. DSS going for the dare. Interesting. DSS has having the luxury to react to Solomar's get up, but misses that ledge get up trap and eats a purple S smash for it. But, you know, on that second stock, DSS did rack 73%. But as we've seen in the past, you know, Solomar's still in this. He always finds a way back, and especially with that purple on deck, got to look out for the up smash. Right there, Solomar's spacing so good to so make himself outside of the range of the falling down air. Dash attacking through all of those Pikmin and into Olimar. Oh, he went for cross slash. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, my God, I didn't even notice that. Are not recognizing that DSS is just going through a lot of these hidden boxes and just punishing him for it. Great, great up air. Right now, Solomar are just playing a very strong beta game, just trying to stay out of Cloud's reach, which is, I mean, it's it's not even easy to say, and it's certainly easier to say than do. I actually really like this from DSS, honestly. As, as, as you know, a lot, of, a lot of the viewers probably like, I think, yo. No, I think this Cloud. is absolutely correct play. No, definitely. I mean, you have the lead. Don't want to go down there. He does have the purple oven deck. Now he doesn't. Now it's like, oh, he switched it. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's red. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a broad racket. Not the back air. Okay. Was it because of the DI? I think it was a DI mix up, yeah. And. Yeah, because actually, with the way that DSS flew out of that, I don't think the right back air would have connected. So. So, so right call coming from Solomar, so recognizing it. But unfortunately, eating an up air of his own. Yeah. Losing that sock. And DSS is counter pick. Paying off. He's been he's been going cloud. I mean his clouds, yeah, just it's it's very very yeah. solid. And he stopped playing him quite a bit. Uh, I'm really surprised that he stopped just because you know it was very very solid. And they, as we're seeing right now, taking a game off Solomar, and DSS does this quite a bit. Whenever he does win a game, he sees what stage you're going to. Then, then he assesses his list of characters and is like, you know what, in this matchup I do better with, you know, X or Y. Yeah. And you know what? It's already paying off with the cloud pick so far. But Omar is going to Lila, his favorite stage. Yeah, I feel like in the especially in the previous game scenario, that was more of a case of him going cloud because like, oh, we're going to battlefield. Uh, I don't want to stay Meta Knight for that. Than anything else. No, and Lila might give him the same like situation, like advantage that he did have on Battlefield. You know, there are platforms that Cloud would go ahead and take advantage of the landings with him, just frame traveling with all the aerials that he does have. And he, I mean, he also won that game a lot more comfortably than he did the one with Meta Knight, right? He won that off that clutch, like, I'm gonna go for this up B, even though it's not actually a thing right now. Yep. Alright, so looking like DSS just knows how to DI the down throw into the bear. No, looks like it was only in that percent, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, chopping off that white Pikmin's head, but the two purples are still alive. And Dash Attack catching him yet again. He's like holding on to the limit. Catching him anyway! Oh okay. my god, still alive though. Only because it was one hit. And that was actually a clever cross slash play this one, right? He recognized the fact with two purples in his hand, Olimar was not going to be able to ascend fast enough to escape that cross slash. So he decides to plant it right there. Yeah, DSS reading a lot of these air dodges, unfortunately, not able to get it. Really close and up tilt sending him up. Oh, yeah. Oh! And there was no option for Solomar there. That's the thing. Well, he had to up he had to make it back to the ledge, and there was no button he could press to stop himself from dying to down air. That immediate there. Just sending him off. And the counter pick really paying off for DSS at the moment. Great recognition right there. No way Solomar loves to go for these smash attacks, but you can't block all of them. That was, that. I mean, he lived until 140% on that stock, so it's going to take quite a bit of work to put Solomar in a, in a comfortable position, especially considering how well Diaz has, has been capitalizing on his disadvantage state. Not good recognition, knowing that he could have been punished after the second cross slash, just stopping it, jumping up, getting away. <laughs> okay, oh, Solomar got gloves of steel. Real talk, just stopping the F up right there. I mean, in Pikmin, you can kill Bulborbs with your bare hands. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like, don't don't mess with Olimar. He's a boxer. He's ready. Oh, he's throwing out them one twos. Again, DSS playing, just extremely patiently, recognizes the fact that even though he's got the gesture in, uh, he can still he can still come back. 
No, but I love what Solomar is doing right now. He is basically just baiting DSS to come in on him, and it is really paying off. Down throw upper. Still almost take this lock, but that's not going to be it. But he is in the air, whistling again. Oh, the purple's not able to reach just far enough to get DSS. With DSS going off. I thought he was going to do another forward smash right there. You saw right there, uh, Solmar read the option that DSS wants to jump back onto the stage, but he just didn't get there fast enough. And do not hang out near the ledge against an Olimar with a purple on deck. That is a fast way to lose your stock. Yeah, DSS is very fortunate that did not kill off the top. Just trying to charge up this limit, but do not land with Dare into Solomar. Oh, wow, just solid, just purple forward air. And he's not dead yet. I thought he was, and then I looked at his percent. He's fine. But he's in a very bad the spot. Back here? And he's oh, no! still alive. But and the donor's gonna do it! DSS! And he was actually dead anyway, too. That's the best part. He actually went into free fall right above the down air. And DSS was like, nah, nah, I can't take any chances. Here's, here it is. Lila's not gonna save your life. All of that set up from the footstool that DSS ended up getting, whether it was yeah. calculated or not.